Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are at the end of the CICD section, so let's do a quick review with the CICD cheat sheet. So CICD is automated methodology that prepares, tests, delivers, or deploys code onto servers, and generally it'd be production servers, which can be abbreviated to prod, an environment which is intended to be used by paying users. It's the it's your, your live server. Then you have your staging uh, server, your staging environment, which is intended to simulate a production environment for last stage debugging. That's why they call it a staging server. Uh, then you have continuous integration represented as CI, and this is automating the review of developers' code, making sure their code is in good shape before we allow it to be turned into pull requests or just to speed up our development cycle. Uh, so run tests with a build server. So you, in this case, we'd use code build, and that's how that would work. Then you have continuous delivery. So this is automating the preparation of the developer's code for release. So it's not being deployed. It's just one step before that. So an example here is very similar to the last one, except you'd run the test suite with a build server. If the test passed, we, uh, it would automatically create a pull request or merge branch into staging, because sometimes staging is a precursor to production. Um, you know, So it's saying, we're ready to deploy this code, but you need to check it over before, before uh, doing so. Then continuous deployment takes that a step further, also abbreviated to CD. Uh, and the idea here is it's automatically deploying developer's code with, uh, which, uh, which is ready for release. So um, it's all the steps prior. So it's going to run test suite build, uh, with a build server. Um, and here, if the test pass, then it's just going to immediately uh, uh, merge it into production and deploy it. So it just does everything automated and ends. And the last thing I just want to touch on continuous deployment here is that it can refer to the entire pipeline. So when you think of continuous deployment on AWS, you, you should be thinking of code pipeline, code commit, code build, and code deploy all combined. So there you go.